it was like a warm place to come home to and you just know like you just you just feel safe and and uh, I was just talking about it with this guy because he's got that right now and I'm like yeah you're just gonna go home tonight and you're gonna cook dinner and and I just love that you know what I mean I just love like it's just like home you know what I'm saying so, like we were together for like four years and then she met a guy at a party that we were all at and like cheated on me for a couple months and then married the guy a year later, which was pretty brutal. <laughs> the feeling is you don't know whether to be miserable or happy because suddenly you feel a strong uh, attraction or urge. You just want to be near somebody, but you can't tell why. And when you're very young, as much as you, you have no idea how deep you can feel. That's just a very, that's like looking at the surface of something. Later on, it gets a lot deeper, but that was the first. Can you tell us how it ended? Fifth grade. <laughs> it's just that simple. <laughs> you move on. My first love was named Dejami, and it was in third grade, and she claimed to be an Indonesian princess, and she introduced me to seaweed for the first time, and I've been eating seaweed ever since. I know that was my first love because the feeling that I get now with love is like that feeling but less intense. Like that was the most the most unbridled like love I've ever felt was that first one when I was like eight years old. <laughs> Changed schools in fourth grade and I mourned her for like the whole year. I would wait for her to come every morning to class and she never did. <laughs> oh. Alright, cool man. Well I heard you playing some music. Do uh, you mind if I record some of it? Today? Yeah, for sure. He didn't feel the same way. Um, he just, he would tell me he wasn't sure what he wanted, and it sucks. It, it broke my heart a lot, but caring about him and loving him, like, I want him, I want him to find happiness as well, and I want him to do what's best. So I, pref I, I think that's what love is, like, no matter what situation you're in, I'm sorry, I'm getting teary. <laughs> um, if you love a person, you'll do anything for them, and if it's meant to be, it comes back, and if it doesn't, like, then you'll find love one day. <laughs> I met him at this house party, and, like, immediately, like, I knew, like, I saw him, and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go after this guy, and that's because I'm a really shy person, and so, yeah, and so I never, like, make the first move or anything, but I was like, I went up to him, and I was like, do I know you from somewhere? We hit it off, we, like, started, like, hanging out, like, every day, um, I was in love, like, automatically, like, it was like a love and first sight type of deal, um, and I don't know, he, he was not good for me, he was very manipulative, and, like, narcissistic and very toxic but I was blind because like you know I was in love and stuff he ended up cheating on me and once I found out I was gonna break up with him because like I'm not gonna put up with that right but he was like no like don't leave so he decided to propose to me because he thought like oh like if like like this is like how I'm gonna prove it to her you know I was just all dumb and I was like sure like yes like so I was engaged for a little bit which is really weird like I'm really young like ah like why was I thinking like to do that but um I loved him but he didn't love me as much as he said he did um which is okay it sucked it really hurt um it took a couple months to recover I'm finally healing I'm doing good out here <laughs> yeah F that guy <laughs> but it's okay. it's okay I like didn't want to admit it to myself but you know it was happening it was like freshman year of high school and they were the coolest person I'd ever met. I don't know, like a magnet was pulling me. Like I had no choice in the matter. And it was just kind of crashing into me and happening. And I couldn't really do anything about it, but in like a good way. And I, I waited too long. I, you know, it just kind of passed me by. I'll always remember, you know, like, should've, should've taken that leap, should've made that chance. Well, I don't know. It feels kind of cringy now looking back kind of bitter, you know what I mean? Not, don't really think of it as a good thing, you know? Gotcha. How, about the, how about at the time? At the time... You know, I got a little jittery. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 
we were actually best friends for one or two years, like just best friends. We would do everything together. And then um, he was like in love with me for a while before I was ever in love with him for sure. But I like I remember even though I was so little, like you think you could not love somebody when you're that young. But I really do think that was my first love when you just feel that like that feeling of peace. You know, it's like really peaceful and it's like que no puedes explicar con palabras, así de que sientes paz. You know, it's okay if I'm like bilingual, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's cool. But um, he would write me all these notes during class, like everything he was doing, and I have all, like, still I have this box of all the notes he ever gave me and stuff like that. And it's not infatuation, it's love, you know? Like, I always, so, okay, this is how I just, this is how I make sense of it. Hey, they come in, I'm telling my story. Okay, I moved from my border sector, which is like the surface of the sun, it's super sunny and warm, and I moved to Washington, D.C., where they get all four seasons. And I'm very friolenta, like I get really cold. I hope your your subscribers are bilingual. <laughs> and so I got all four seasons for the first time, but I'm, I don't like the winter. I, I like the sun, I like the warmth. I'm like a beach girl. So I said like, I love the spring. I'm in love with summer. I'm infatuated with fall. I think it's beautiful. Like it's so exciting. Um, and I don't like the winter. And like, I think that's how you, you can kind of like tell the difference. Like. Sometimes people confuse love and infatuation. Yeah, I, I, what was I supposed to tell you? Tell you about my first love? Yeah, he's a scrawny little Mexican kid. We're just scrawny little Mexican kids out here. Can you tell us about your first love? Yeah, definitely. I met my first love actually in kindergarten. And I fell in love with her then in high school. We're both in the musical. She was like the drama superstar. And I, was, I, was, I always thought I was too cool for the plays and stuff. But I was like, you know, now's my shot, senior year, I gotta do this. And she was dating one of my best friends, but I knew I was right for her, so I had to, you know, convince her of that, and then I did. And she was the lead, and I was very much in the background, but it all worked out. Um, and then we dated for a while, went to senior prom together, had a beautiful summer together after that, but then Unfortunately, had to split up for college and the distance was just too much. The love couldn't overcome it. So it all came crashing down. But we're still friends to this day and um, we're still close in some ways. Uh, and she's a really amazing person and will always be my first love. Do you think that you guys will ever get back together? You never know. Yeah, I think it could be a possibility. If you're listening, Natasha, you know, give it a shot, maybe. <laughs> You should send her this video. I should, yeah. <laughs> and then let me know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. My first love. Wow, my first love was in kindergarten. His name was Rafael. I still remember him. He was a, a little chubby guy. And I used to uh, look for him all over the school. And, and I was in love for him. And later on, I, he was in Mexico City, I traveled to Juarez, and I didn't know more about him. So how old were you when you guys went separate ways? Oh, we were uh, seven years old. Right now I'm 42. So it's been a long time ago. Why did you love him? Why did you love him? I don't know, maybe I always like the, those kind of people like chubby and like you can hug them I don't know he was very cute but I think he didn't like me because when he saw me he used to run away from me <laughs> so I think it was, it was only one way love <laughs> have you have you been in love since oh yeah I was married and as a matter of fact I was married to a Raphael too <laughs> but I'm separated right now seven years separated Okay, maybe the first Raphael will see this video and then he'll try to contact you. Ah, oh, that would be great! <laughs> My first love was a narcissist who was able to still, like, keep his, like, hands around me. Like, he really was able to indulge and completely take my whole soul and kind of lock me up in a way. But it was really beautiful because I felt like I could like save him from his issues and he felt like he could save mine. But we kind of just dug like graves for each other. But he's still my best friend. So yeah, I don't even know how to explain that. Um, I don't know, four years later and I'm still kind of stuck in this bubble of trying to find myself and trying to figure out what I need and want. But my first love was my best friend. Are you over him? No. Nah. First love. 
it was rough. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about it, I'm sorry. It's over. That's the end, I'll leave it at that, yeah. I've never been in love, actually. <laughs> never had one. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been in love. If, oh. <laughs> Um, I've actually never had one. Interesting. Well, no, I've never had that. I've actually never had the first love. So. Never been in love. Never dated. Never had a boyfriend. <laughs> well, how do you imagine it will feel? Oh, it'll be a blast. <laughs> and kind of annoying at the same time. <laughs> Man, I think, well see that's like the hardest question because when you think about that, it's like so many emotions, so many so many like experiences, so many memories come to mind. She like couldn't date in high school, and then I knew that, so I was gonna wait the year until she's out of high school so we could date. But then she texted me, and she was like, "So uh, I was praying about it, and God told me we, we should just be friends." For four years after that, I was mad at her. I was mad at God. I was like, "Well, you know, it's like, how could you let this happen? I thought this was gonna be like, this is gonna be it. Like, this is gonna last forever." When you find that person, that's like your first love. Like nothing else is almost the same, because nothing else compares to that. Like, what do you, how do you get that same thing that's like with somebody else that you had that's almost seemed unmeasurable, comparable. Being with her, being around her, being like in her company was like the light in like the dark places of my life. It just made everything seem like it was okay, I guess. She, uh, she actually is a, she's an amazing dancer, a ballet dancer. And when I was falling in love with her, when I was thinking about it, like, I was falling in love with the ballerina, kind of like a, like that your dream, you know, like a, well, ever, someone's dream, you know. I realized I loved her when um, we were, she was coming in from her dance show, and I got her a huge bouquet of flowers, of roses, 20 of them, and she, I'm waiting her at her car, because she doesn't know I'm there, I surprised her, and she comes out, and she starts tearing up, and I give her the flowers, and I, I couldn't bring myself to tell her I love her, because it was still early, but I knew it. And uh, when later we went to a golf course, like a golf driving range, and we're sitting in the car afterwards, and uh, she tells me she loves me, um, and I tell her I love her too, and she actually told me that she stopped herself from saying I love you after I gave her those flowers. So basically we found out that we loved each other at the, at the same time. It was just, it's beautiful. It was beautiful. Are you still with her? Yeah, we're, curr we're currently together. We're coming up on two years in um, like 40 days. Yesterday night there was a sunset. When I see a sunset, I think of God's creation. Um, when I think of God's creation, it's beautiful. But God created her more beautifully than the sunset. And I thank her for being her. Um, because as beautiful as she's on the outside, She's even more beautiful on the inside, um, especially to me. Spotlights on and everybody's watching. You tell all the boys that they're wasting your time. You stop standing in line because you're mine. Thank you guys again for watching another episode. I made a new shirt. It says, hey stranger. And if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked in my description. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next week.